am back with Sherry Shepard. Okay, Sherry, so I know Oprah reached out after your show was renewed to give you a little advice. What advice did she give you? <laughs> she said, uh, Sherry, now you've proved that you're funny, that the show is light, uh, you know, that you, you know, I think was those those words she was saying, and she said, now what are you going to do? And I was like, prove that I'm funny and that the show is light and, you know, fun. And she says, no, you have to elevate it. And I'm going, but we just got on the air, like a little three-year-old. We just got on the air, Oprah. Uh, but she said, yeah, she said, you have to not look at any of your competition. You have to sit and say, how can I make this better than what it was before? That's so really good advice. She's me think about. Yeah. So, I mean, we're, we're we're hosting a brand new talk show here in Seattle. Is there any advice that you would give me here? Well, I think you're great. Like, I, I am. I know that I'm having fun talking to you. So if I'm having fun, then that means you're having a good time. So I think I wouldn't give you any advice. I wouldn't dare. I'm having a good time. So you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, thanks, Jerry. Um, I want to talk about Barbara Walters. You know, she recently passed away, and you worked so closely with her. How did working with her kind of prepare you for having your own show? Oh, I think that Barbara's toughness really played a big part over here because I, it's a level that I've never worked at, but, you know, Barbara taught us not to give up. Don't just walk away and sulk. You stick with it and, and push through it. And that's what I'm doing here. She taught me to be curious about people. So really, I'm sitting there with no cards. I just want to know about who this guest is that's across from me or that's cooking for me or showing me the latest gadget. So, gosh, she just taught me to find, know my voice. I found my voice because of Barbara Walters. Oh, and what kind of role beyond just on air, what role did she have in your life, like personally? Oh, she was like my mom, you know? It was like she was tough on me, but she loved me. She would encourage me. She showed up for everything extra, that, except with the exception of Dancing with the Stars, because that was in California. But she showed up for everything that I was involved in to support. I love that. Um, let's talk about a couple segments you have on your show. We've got the best life and she's a boss segments. Why do you feel like it's so important to kind of incorporate all these aspects of well-being into your show and to highlight women who have, you know, started these incredible businesses? Well, first of all, like our Best Life series, I want women to know, you know, this is an age like I'm in my 50s. And a lot of times we don't feel seen. And also we feel like we've given up on our dreams. And I want to inspire women, you know, to live their best life. Our, you know, she's the boss is like, again, to inspire people, like step past the fear and don't fear failure. You know, the people who come on our show, we had so many folks, uh, the founder of Good American and all natural hair care dolls. And it's like they come, Barbara Corcoran, the real estate guru, they come to show women that you got to not feel fa fear failure because failure is what propels you. And it really inspires our audience. So if I can give them that mixed in with laughter, we have dating, you know, segments for women in their 50s because I want to show women it's not over like it does get greater. It really if you does. let it. Yeah, I think just like failing forward too has been a big thing that I've learned as well. Um, and you, you're so all about, you know, supporting other women and especially other female comedians. Why do you think it's so important to do that and to support other women? Oh, I love my Laugh Lounge because I feel like when people are going through so much in today's, you know, what they're facing, it's doom and gloom. Your spirit is heavy. We will need to laugh. And they also need to see other women doing it. You know, that's a field that I say we need more women in the field of comedy. But I think to show women that everyday things can make a person laugh. Okay. I just want their stomachs to be hurting when they're <laughs> comics. That's a good goal. Um, you've done so much in your career, too. I mean, sitcoms, movies, comedic roles, dramatic roles, panel talk shows, and of course now your own talk show. What has led you to this moment in your career? And what can we expect from Sherry Shepard in the future? Uh, I think this particular point in my career, my acting career, was I was very successful in that lane. But I think this has just always been a dream. And I got so many no's that it was devastating to me. And I used to always pray and go, Lord, like, why did you give me these things that I have? if I'm not supposed to be doing a talk show. And it just seemed like it was never happening. And I don't know, I think that really was like, God, he didn't forget. He didn't forget about the promise uh, that he had given to me. And I'm very thankful for that. And I know that this blessing that I have is affecting other people who are on this team. So it's exciting to see what this show is doing for other people who are on the team as well.
It's so exciting. Sherry Shepard, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with Studio thank 13 you. Live today. We love talking to you. We're watching you and we're always rooting for you. Thank you and thank you for having me. Yeah, we'll talk to you soon.